Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel. I have got a vlog going out tomorrow, which we're going to record this afternoon. I'm a little bit excited about it because me and Adam Sills are having our midway Christmas party for a gift to November and I'm so excited because I've been looking through the pictures that are already on Instagram for work in progress and a gift to November. I've checked both hashtags. So what I wanted to do is just do my normal chatty catch up. I'm a little bit earlier but I didn't want to kind of not talk to you this week about what I've been doing and maybe what I've disastrously done. So yeah, hang on for that one. And prepare, yeah, you maybe need to empty your bladder first because you will wet yourself when I tell you what I've done. So I am wearing, um, a, a, I was going to say jumper, it's the Billy Jumper by Tilly and the Buttons. This fabric was from Charlotte So Affordable, I showed it a few weeks ago. It's kind of like a t-shirt fabric, but obviously it's a very Christmassy print. Um, I've done it with the balloon sleeves. I did make the neckline a little bit lower for me, but I, one of the things I've figured out with it is... I tend to overlock the neck and I think because I didn't check till you the buttons patterns are usually a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance so I think the reason that the neckline's been sitting sort of more up here on me is that when I just overlock it round I'm not clearing a big enough seam allowance right around it so I did lower it a little bit at the front and at the back and then just fitted the ribbing onto there and I'm really pleased with how that looks I did put a band on the bottom but because it's more of a t-shirt weight fabric it just didn't look right and it's just a bit of a t-shirt for me kind of to get in the Christmas spirit around the house and um, yeah, I have decorated the grotto, so we've got a bit of tinsel, got some bunting, I'm going to chat about that tomorrow. So what have I been doing this week? Um, behind me is the Nova coat, which I'll come to shortly, because that's been my biggest make this week. And I'm about to start the Heather Blazer, so Adele, don't fall off your chair. It's in, the thread's in. Yeah, so... New machine, embroidery machine, had my first go. I've had it for a couple of weeks, but I've just been so busy that I've just not had a chance to kind of give it a whirl. So I'd got from also Crafty a few different colours, two pound a metre um, of this sort of, I think it's like a poly cotton. Um, green's not one of my colours normally, but I've got my nails done in green and I thought, yeah, I'm going to make an indigo dress to match it. So I'll show you what I did. So on the sl both sleeves, I've done... This so it's probably coming up as quite big. There's some perspective on it, so a little bit bigger than my middle finger. And um, I did change the colours, and obviously on camera it's not coming over quite as I would want it to, but in person it looks really, really nice. Um, and I was pretty happy with that. I used different stabilizers on both arms because I'm wanting to get used to what works. And I've got to say on my arms, I'd probably now with a bit more experience maybe go for something that was a bit narrower and longer just because of the the stabiliser but um yeah so indigo dress I've made it absolutely loads I did a little bit of um fancy stitching across the shoulder seams um facings are in didn't get a label put in it and um yeah so bodice done just needed to put the elastic in the cuffs tried it on doesn't fit <laughs> like beyond gutted I have got I must have six of the indigo dress since I made the last one I've lost 10 pounds in weight so I have absolutely no idea why this is too tight but it's like too tight <laughs> you know like where you can't breathe so I was like oh well, that wasn't quite what I was like, you can imagine. But, you know, I'll leave you to fill in the blanks. So I'm not going to be deterred. What I thought I could do, well, I was thinking all sorts. Like, should I just put a panel in on the side? And thought, no, that would look absolutely rubbish. Um, should I just kind of recut the back or the front? But then when I figured that I'd done all the fancy stitching on the shoulders, I thought, mm. So I didn't have enough fabric to redo it, the back and the front bodice. As a maxi dress, which is what I want, um, and I needed to order some line and fabric for my um, sewing school, so I just ordered some more. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'll probably unpick the face in because that's completely usable, and this will get used. It'll get used for something else, and I'll. I, I didn't overlock the sleeves in. Luckily, I tried it before, so if I just unpick the sleeves, the gathering stitches and everything are in place. 
I don't know if it's because I usually use something like a viscose chalice. I don't really know. If you can, if you know, tell me, because I, I don't know. Why doesn't it fit? I don't know. It's a sign of things to come in this vlog, though, because wait, just wait for the major disaster that's that's happened. So, yeah. But I'm really pleased with my first ever embroidery. I broke a needle. I dealt with that. Changed all the colours. I stopped part way through, made a mess. Anyway, I dealt with it all. My first ever go at machine embroidery, and I'm really happy with it. And the colours do come out better in person. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Anywho, just got to keep going, haven't you? That's the that's the thing. You know, we live and learn. Everything doesn't go perfectly in sewing land. So I did make the peppermint, sorry, the paper cut pattern Nova coat. So I'm going to grab that. So this is it. So this is the pattern. You'll have seen a lot of it on social media. Um, the only thing I don't like about the actual packaging is the packaging because, you see I've had to put some clips at the top, I need to sort of glue it, I'll probably just take it out and put it in an envelope. It only comes, or I could only find it, in a paper pattern. I ordered it from the fold line. There are two size bands and I got the larger size band and I made it in the smallest size and it's bang, absolutely bang on size wise. Thank goodness something is this week. Anywho. Um, so you've got, you can do it a long or a short version. You'll see that it was renamed, I think it was called the Sephora Court or something like that originally. Um, it's an intermediate pattern. I mean, was it difficult to make? No, there were parts of, uh, what do I do with that? The part that took me the most to work out was how to attach the lining to the sleeve facing inside. Um, but actually, once I actually just followed their instructions rather than thinking I knew what to do, it kind of worked all right. Um, but there was, and I will pop a link to it, um, a fabulous, um, well, there's two actually, part one and part two, a vlog on YouTube, which I saw somebody else recommend it, and I did follow that, and that really kind of helped us as well. I'm quite a visual learner, so I do that all the time. So... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased with it. So I'll chat you through it. I've not got any pictures in it yet. And it's I know I posted it on Instagram the other day. It does still need a press. Now, it has got a sweary label in. So if you don't like swearing, I apologise. But I've had, a, I've had a couple of days. Um, and the label sort of summed it up when I was on with this yesterday. So this is a like a wool blend fabric. I think I got from Pound Fabrics um, a couple of years ago. So it's like grey... You know, you get the gist. It's nothing outstanding, but it was perfect. And I did think about buying something else. And I thought, no, just use something from your stash because that's what it's all about. And I had ordered um, some lining from Charlotte So Affordable, which is white with blue hearts on, which is just here on the, sh on the shelf, which is lovely. But it came in time, but I wasn't in. And I rescheduled it. But I didn't want to not get the jacket done because we're going to the knitting stitching show at Harrogate tomorrow and I need to wear it so it's getting a press tonight. So I had um, some of this um, raw silk fabric left from Raz Baz Bazaar and I made a ball gown um, with this in the summer. I made the style like bell dress as a ball gown um, and I thought yeah I'm going to use that as a lining because it's kind of, it's my colourway and I just wanted it to have a little bit of something. Um, so how did it go together? Well, first of all, as you know, I don't like things around my neck. So I was a little bit worried about how this bit would sit. But I'm really, really pleased with how it sits. I do think I'll make maybe another one. Um, and I'll cover a little bit of the label up. But this is a Kylie Machine sweary label. You can fill in the gap if you want to. Let me see if I can cover it up for anybody who doesn't like swear. So it says something this... Yeah. And it just summed up my day. So let me slip that on. As I say, it needs a press. I've just cleared a bit of space in the spare room to get the iron board out and give this a really good press. So there you go. So that is me done. This had to take priority because 
just never went to court. And I think I was saying that I couldn't get my arms into sleeves. So obviously you've got that sort of bat wing. It's not bat wing, but a nice big sleeve where it comes in nicely at the cuff as well. Um, you've got these lovely pockets. Oh. You've got these lovely pockets there, which are great. They're just going on an angle. It does feel a bit like origami when you when you do your first steps and you put the pocket parts together but just follow the steps because it works so that's my news so i'll share my disaster with you should i so you may notice let me pan around a little bit i do have let me go the right way faff machine here and a bit of mess as normal now Is it the right faff machine? Is it the one that was on loan that's due to go back to David Drummond at Edinburgh? So should I tell you what's just happened to my three week old machine? Clumsy hands. Took this. I can show you it because it's the same on this machine. I took this spool cap and guess where it is? right in the middle of the machine machine it fell in like a ball going through kaplunk and if you don't know what kaplunk is maybe if i can find one i'll drop a video in but i'll drop a video in that does show you where it went and honestly i just couldn't believe it so it went in where the thread sorry where the tension discs are and it sort of fell in like a coin going in a slot and then i just heard it go and it's in the machine so I rang David's shop and I do know the stuff a little bit and I was laughing I mean you know it's totally my fault it's literally like being here for three weeks um, and once we all stopped laughing and I mean you're probably still laughing um, she did consult with the uh, Elizabeth did consult with the technician but the news was it needs to go back so we were planning a trip to Edinburgh for a day next Wednesday then we decided we weren't and it, it was arranged to be collected but like and they said keep this machine until you get the other one back they just so amazing and um, but um so it was going to get collected on wednesday which is just because i mean it could have gone earlier than that but we decided we would just put the trip back on and take it up to edinburgh so i don't know whether i'll be able to get back on the same day after the career back but yeah so if you've stopped wetting yourself laughing Mm. who's still laughing who's still laughing be honest i would be i mean let's face it if it was anybody else i would be <sighs> so gutted so i've just loaded this one up with the right colored thread to do the heather blazer and then i do still have my necky machine which is at my son's school so i can bring that back if i need to in the meantime the sky's not falling in we're all still okay Clumsy hands. Anybody else clumsy? Not just me, I'm sure. Okay, so what else? I am so itching to o open this. I mean, hello. Alison, we hope you enjoy your countdown to Christmas love first for fabrics. How many days? It's like 14 days or something till I can open bag of number one. Um, but I'm not, I'm, I'm so bad with presents and things you know so I, this is my promise i'm going to say this out loud because once i've took the tape off this box what i don't want to be doing is squeezing things does anybody else do that with christmas presents or gifts squeeze them and work out what they are before you open them i mean when you say it out loud it's completely bonkers it's meant to be kind and a surprise etc but I, i've done it all my life and i still do it um, so I'm going to try not to do that. I am going to do Vlogmas for the first time this year, but I just don't think that there's any way I'll be able to record and edit and upload daily. So I'm not going to commit to that. I'll probably do every few days. And sometimes, you know what, my life's just not that interesting that you really want to know about it, you know. Um, but yeah, so I am going to do Vlogmas and I am going to open this every day and you will see what I'm creating in the meantime. And the other thing that I've done this week is dye some fabric, which I've not done for oh, a long time. 
So the last time I dyed fabric was when you had to put with dye on. You had to put fab. You had to put salt into the drum of your machine, and then the dye, and then the garment. The garment was always my brother's jeans, which I used to dye random colours when we're all, when we're all into our indie music and stuff. Anyway, I had this cord. I'll pop a picture in so you can see kind of the before and after. I think I got it from pound a metre in lockdown. Um, I was going to make a coat and didn't. It just came and it was just way lighter than I ever wanted it to be. I mean, it would have been clean for about 30 seconds. I mean, we've just witnessed how clumsy I am. So it's been up in the loft in a box and I decided I was going to dye it. So I cut it into two, three metre lengths approximately. Um, and I put in the dial on purple. I don't think it's got a different name, whatever it is, the purple one. And... If I'd wanted it more purple, it would have definitely had needed two in. But actually, I'm really pleased with the colour that it's come out. So it's come out. This it, it is a nice, it's quite a plum. So it's probably coming out slightly darker because it is daytime, but it is bouncing down yet again and dark outside. Um, so it's quite a purple colour. Now I'm going to make with this probably a dressmaker's closet Dixie dress. Or I did just buy a few days ago the poppy pinafore from dressmaker's closet which i've had my eye on for a while i could do with something that's a bit of a layer and i've probably got enough to do both but i don't know whether i'll need both and um, so i'm undecided i think this would be lovely in the poppy pinafore and if i can do this without knocking the tinsel down this was the liberty christmas fabric that i got last year with gold stars on these actually do sparkle and i got half a meter of it because somebody's husband was clutching it and wouldn't let it go and um, and it popped up on alice caroline the other day so i got another meter of a heart and a half and i've got the pattern for the emma blouse by italia dupe that's got the pin tucks and things on and i'm thinking that will look gorgeous in that but i'm probably going to twirl it in something else first and i think they'll look gorgeous together if that was the pinny for what do you think that might be kind of my christmas day outfit or something like that so i might have just made a decision there because i do think they look absolutely stunning together um, so these are kind of over the next few weeks obviously at the moment I'm, I really want to get that blazer finished and I do need to start my own Christmas makes. So the fabric is washed for the pyjamas I need to get those done. I'm ready to do the reusable facial wipes but you know what I'm being drawn into everybody else's ideas but I'm not going to go into that yet because watch tomorrow's vlog and see what that's all about so let me know what you're up to you know I love to know the crack let me know and I will catch up with you really soon like tomorrow so take care don't miss it because I'm sure it's going to be a little bit bonkers I have no idea what's going to happen so bye for now